Welcome to the House Beautiful Kitchen of the Year. Um, I'm so excited to introduce you to two of my wife and I's favorite people on the entire planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Bigman Boys. Thank you so much. Uh, and so today we're going to do a very simple galette, which is a, a kind of a, a French peasant pastry. Um, and what we want to do to demonstrate how easy it is, is to get two people from the audience, particularly people who never ever cook. We want the absolute worst so cooks who wants to call in the audience. Out and say, over here? You're here. Okay. 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 This is Jane. Renata. Renata. Yes, and and Joyce. Joyce. Okay. Galette, as we said, is basically, it's a one crust pie without a pie plan. It's literally just sort of a tart um, using fruit and, and a crust that you, you fold over the edges. All right, so we're going to start with the crust. Now, how do you make a crust? Everyone's like, oh, I never make my own crust. It's too hard to do. It's easy to remember. Here's what you need to remember. You need to remember one plus one plus a little bit. All right? Everybody say it after me. One, one plus, plus one plus a little bit. One cup of flour, one stick of butter. Where's the little bit? You know what? You always have to have a little bit more flour in there because think of this, think of a pie crust as solid, so you don't want it to melt with the butter. So it's one cup plus a little bit. Dump your flour in. Dump your butter in. Uh, so you're going to take your sugar, you got a little bit of sugar here. We're just going to make it a little bit of sweet. How much? A little bit. You want it a little sweet? It's a little bit. All right. Now, uh, a little bit of salt. You can put a little bit of salt in, just a pinch. All right, and you just take your fork. You, everybody see? You just mush it together. And you want to get it to about where the butter is about the size of a pea. This about how it should look. There you got it. Now you're going to put some water, some ice water. That's what's going to hold it together. And that's probably not going to be enough. This depends on humidity. But you can see it's starting to come together, right? So do another dollop of water or cream in your coffee. You can use milk for this. You can use vodka for it if you want. Doesn't really matter. So the thing is, you don't want it a little wet. You want it just enough so that you know it can, it could come together in a ball if you wanted it to. Okay. Okay. Now you don't want it to actually hold together too well. You want it. You want a flaky crust. So always remember, you want it just to where, you know, it kind of holds together. That's good enough. Now there's all these great ways of rolling out your, your dough, right? There's all these fantastic ways. You know how you should do it? You should roll it until it's flat. That's my method. It's very. It's very difficult to roll it until it's flat. All right, so fold it in quarters. It's a great way to transfer it. Fold it in quarters and then unfold it on your tray. Oh my god, I got a hole. Look at that. Done. Now the basic parts of the inside of a galette are fruit and a little bit of flavoring, some sort of flavoring, and sugar. So we're going to do a little bit of basil. Just tear your basil on here. But you can do anything. You can use a little rosemary, a little bit of lemon thyme. That's great. Orange zest, lemon zest. All right. So, here's our flavoring. Now we need some fruits. So I just cut them in half. If they're big, cut them in half. You know how much fruit do you put in it? Always put about a quart. Always have a quart of fruit. A quart of fruit will do most anything for you. It's good for a pie. Now, the only other thing, you've got your flavoring, you've got the basil, you've got the strawberries. Now you need a little bit of sugar. Now, how much sugar do you put in? Again, you, just a little bit. If it's a sweet fruit, just throw in one fistful of sugar. If it's kind of a soury fruit, some of your tartar berries, um, two fistfuls of sugar. Then you fold your edges over. Now this is, a, this is maybe where you might want to put a little care into it. So you, it's good. You really don't want a hole in it because the juices as it bake will leak out. If it does, it's fine. it's fine. Drizzle it over the top. Drizzling is a sign of a good chef. We've got our galette. We're going to put it in the oven. We've got it at 350. You can bake most anything at 350, 375. Now it's very important that you put it in the center rack. Okay. No, it's not. How important that is. It's not at all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Beacon Boys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.